Local News 8 in the morning continues. Hey, welcome back. It's now 656. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, the Bonneville County prosecutor says Idaho Falls School District 91 Superintendent James Shank and Communications Director Margaret Wimborne violated election laws. They are accused of authorizing school funds to make flyers, posters and bookmarks for last November's bond election. The district believes there is absolutely no basis to this lawsuit and the Board of Trustees is committed to fighting it. Number two, Madison County Sheriff's Office is looking for a man on the run. Cody J. Robertson is charged with a felony, second degree kidnapping and domestic battery. He should be driving a black Ford F-350 with an Idaho plate 1M8009U. And number three, people are drying off after some flash flooding in eastern Idaho. The flooding got so bad in Idaho Falls yesterday, some cars were almost fully submerged. Multiple vehicles were stranded at the Yellowstone and D Street underpass, as well as the underpass at Boulevard. You can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com, or on our app. Let's check back in with Jeff. Okay, I want to show you this picture from Michelle. Uh, it looks like snow, doesn't it? That's hail. Yesterday in Idaho Falls, all stacked up. <laughs> That's hard to believe. Look, look at that. Look at this. I'm trying to see what street that is. That's uh, where is that? Uh, Sundona. Uh, so yeah, that was in in town yesterday. Look at that. That's hail. It's like marbles right there. Dime sized to ping pong sized hail with these thunderstorms, and we'll see some more of them into the afternoon. 70% chance of storms, winds out of the southwest at 10 to 15, gusting to beyond that. We had a report of a 60 plus mile an hour wind yesterday with one of the, the, the main storm that came through here. And that joker was so slow. It's like me trying to get out of the 12th grade. It took five years. Okay, it didn't go. That's why we flooded. It had nowhere to go. It was just it sat there over the top of us. It was a squatter. 75 for Pocatello this afternoon. It's going to be down to 52 tonight and then in the mid to upper 70s. Memorial Day, we're we're backing into some chances of this thing. It's just not moving as quickly as we'd like. That low is on top of us and it's stationary. And it is the mechanism for which we light up in the afternoon with that moisture around here. So you get hot and the hot air has nowhere to go. It lifts and starts popping those clouds. There's some showers. Actually, if you look over Pocatello right now, uh, we can see it on our set here. Uh, it's going to be uh, another one of those stormy afternoons. Pretty good chance of about 70 to Emma, this is what you asked for. So I'm blaming it on you. Uh, it'll be down to fault. 49 tonight in the mid 70s for Thursday and Friday. But I, I got to be honest with you, thunderstorms are when you're safe and you have a, a, a you know something to eat and a, a, a you know the TV on, hanging out with us at noon probably the best place to be because mm -hmm. we'll keep you company and we can relate, man. Who wants to get out into that? Plus, if you've got a raincoat, I want to see it. Send me your send me a picture of you in your weather gear. Uh, if you got one of those big yellow coats, I know people put raincoats on their dogs now. Have you seen oh, yeah, that? Seen they those, got little yeah. puppy dogs. Oh, Raincoats, yeah, uh, they don't fit me though. What's your tattoo disaster? What happened to your ink? What did you did? No regrets. <laughs> Such a classic. That is a classic one, isn't it? Uh, no regrets should be what they wrote, but someone wrote no regrets, and it became a viral sensation. Do you have a tattoo disaster? I know that people have oftentimes said, "Hey, don't put anybody you're in a relationship in ink." Mm, yes. yes, that's actually because if you break up, yeah, you're, you're stuck with you'll that. You'll have to amputate your arm. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Emma. You wouldn't do that. Hey, thanks so much for joining us and stay safe. We'll have what you need to know I at love noon. You. Oh my goodness. <laughs>